Hello one and all. I've been around for a while, but um, I've been pretty ill actually. Uh, just basically lying like a dead dog in bed for about a week. So uh, I haven't really been up to much. Uh, managed to get the Make It Matter um, thing done. Little bookworm, uh, which I was very, very pleased about. Uh, you can see previous video on that. Um, so yeah, so I haven't really been up to much. I haven't been in the shed. It's bitterly cold. Uh, I'm going to be trialling a product that someone I know makes, uh, some, something called Hampshire Sheen. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. Now today, um, I'm going to be making a pot. And yes, I know I've mainly been making bowls, um, but that's like a sidetrack really. I started off making little pots. Uh, so I'm going to make a lidded pot today, uh, possibly with a finial, um, out of a bit of sported ash. So stick with me and uh, we'll check everything out as it goes. But it is very, very cold here today and um, I'm still not feeling 100%. So uh, please bear with me. Thank you very much. Right, so what I want to do is, this is going to be very, very small. Um, this is only, well, from basically from chuck to end is about three and a half inches. Um, so it's only going to be about two inches tall. Possibly just over with with a lid as well. So I've got to divide this, uh, just mark out where I'm going to mark, um, part it off, where I'm going to part the lid off. The lid's only going to be a very small piece. Um, so we we'll do that and uh, then uh, see what happens. <laughs> You have to let me know in the comments actually if this is if it's too bright or if it's too dark please let me know so I've just got a 3/8 spindle gouge here uh, sharp to my own particular angle but I seem to get on well with so I'm just finding the bevel, rolling over, it's always important to find the bevel first and then just roll it over, like that. Got a tall level with the centre there, look, you can see the little dot there, and the tool's pretty much in line with that. I'm just going to face off this, clean this up a little bit, because this is going to be the top of the actual bottom. Top of the bottom? You know what I mean. This is going to be where the lid goes. Um, so I need this to be clean, just so I can decide how the lid's actually going to pop inside. Now this might seem a little bit extreme for such a small pot, um, but I'm going to use my 3 8 bowl gouge, um, just mainly because it does a good job at, of hollowing out, really. <laughs> right, so I'm changing to a round nose scraper because I'm lazy and I don't use this that often so it's nice to sort of use it it should be reasonably sharp uh, I'm just gonna clear out all that I've got plenty of room in there um, let's have a look so we're looking at oh, I've got another good half inch to go there so I'm okay let's get on with it Ah, 
always good practice to uh, check the thickness of the walls. Now these are these are thick. That's about five eighths of an inch, I guess. So the depth is I'm about as deep as I want to go. So I'm going to mark that. That pencil line there is uh, roughly where the bottom of the pot is, so I, obviously I don't need to go uh, too much this way. So you can see in a second how, how far round I have to go to get the sort in the pot to try and get right inside this wall. So I'm going to get in your way now and then I'll move the camera again. I've decided that I don't need this recess uh, after all. It's gonna the lid's gonna sit on this bit here. I'm not gonna take too much off here, uh, but I am gonna get rid of that because it just interferes with the smooth line of the inside. So I'll take my coat off because it's getting in the way. You don't want sort of loose sleeves and stuff. So excuse me, ladies. Right, so there we go. Just going to get rid of that now get that that curve going so nice curve in there actually nice sort of uh, nice sort of line um, but it is way too thick yet so here we go means a small amount of something um, and that's what I need to get off there a tad That's pretty much there now. Pretty even around the sides. Yeah. A little bit more on that bottom corner. Just a tad. Yeah. It's got a <laughs> for the standing cedar which is a 50 50 mix cellulose which is some of that and some of that now i'm going to use it's been all been sanded cleaned off sanding cedar everything now it's time for some yorkshire grit So here we are, Hampshire Sheen original. Get it on a cloth. on gonna leave that a few minutes the Yorkshire grit and the Hampshire sheen have really brought up the grain on this piece I mean it is beautiful the sheen 
of the shine, whatever you want to call it, is just right. It's not overpowering. It just brings a piece to life. Beautiful. I shall use that a lot more than I do right now. So what I've got to do is I've got to cut this off, part this off, and uh, get the lid done. Okay, Dave's quick tip of the day. These little bits <coughs> of the tenon, which you would normally throw away, don't throw them away. Keep them. You can use them. Uh, you can glue them to the backs of things, and then you've got a grip. So hot glue them or whatever. Uh, obviously, you've got to clean the face off, make sure it's all nice. But very handy mounting. Okay. Right, by parting the actual uh, pot off, um, I've made a schoolboy error. Basically, I can't mount the lid in the pot and turn it as one piece like I was going to. So I'm going to have to do it a slightly different way. So um, keep watching and uh, we'll try and fix it. Here's the pot on a jam chuck. Um, I'm going to clean up the bottom, put my maker's mark in. This is what I would have done right at the end. But unfortunately, uh, because I passed it off a little bit earlier, uh, my mind's still not uh, 100%. Um, I'm going to have to do it now. Um, and then we're going to have to try and figure out how to do the lid in a minute. sanded ready for Yorkshire grit and Hampshire sheen okay so clever me forgot to turn the camera on but there's the lid um, I'm gonna take it off so that's a good fit 
So now I'm going to take this off, reverse it in a jam chuck and uh, finish the top and possibly get a finial in it. Here's my jam chuck for the lid. Um, note the big hole in the bottom, that's so I can push the lid out with my thumb. Very handy tip that. And there's the lid, ready for the little finial. Nearly, just got to make a hole in it. Here's a piece of purple heart, just going to round it down, make a little ball, a little stem to go in the lid. That should do nicely. Take this out of the chuck with my painted pushy outy holy. There we go. Nice little lid for the pot. Clean it up a bit. There we go. Nice little pot. Which I'll show you in a minute. Well, that was. Uh... That was really tricky. Um, as I said, I've been pretty ill recently, and uh, I don't know, my mind's just not tuned in as it was. Um, finding it hard to think about uh, proper steps and that sort of thing. But um, in the end, I got there. That, that's the important thing. Um, I've got an object, and I'm quite pleased with it. Um, so, there we go. Just a very simple, but then I like simple, little pot. I think you can see the bottom of that. Nicely hollowed out there. It's about a quarter of an inch thickness. The lid fits on quite nicely. Fits quite firmly. I lost a little bit of definition on the edges of the... Hang on, if I can get it out again famous last words there we go so I lost a little bit of definition on here um, because the wood is quite punky uh, it's quite soft in some areas so I did lose a little tiny bit of definition around that edge there it's a little bit rough but most of it's okay inside a bowl is very pleasing uh, it's very smooth the outside is good got my little makers mark on there now I used um, Hampshire Sheen original on this one and I must say it's come up very well um, it's quite a hard wearing sort of finish so that will be handy but there we go a nice little pot I'm pleased with it and the little finial knob thing there is made out of purple heart which uh, is a fantastic wood but yeah there we go nice little pot that's just to show you that I you know I can do other things in bowls um, in fact I used to do a lot of pots so expect to see quite a few more coming this year but um, obviously when I'm feeling a lot better um, there's a couple of other things I need to talk about which is the UKIS is coming up in July so that's the uh, 15th and 16th of July I think um, I'm going yay so expect to see me up there um, probably drinking with you Val quite a bit and the other lads um, so that should be fun uh, looking forward to that um, so watch out Coventry here we come so once again thank you to all my subscribers uh, and everybody for watching these videos really I mean I'm coming up for 500 subs at the moment so that's amazing I did say there'd be a giveaway at 1000 but it might be a little one at 500 as well so we'll see what happens there 
and uh, that's about it for today so the auction for make it matter um, all the things we made is going to happen later on this month so keep an eye out for that go to Steve Twidell's Facebook page uh, make it matter Facebook page and the website as well all details are on there but until next time I shall see you later and uh, hopefully I'll be a bit better then take care